Now comes the last part, the moment of truth. Do we have parity or don't we have parity? Don't get nervous. So as you may already know, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some corner swapping. We corner swap this side at the same time we're corner swapping the bottom side. So we have the potential parity that if I'm swapping an odd number of times here, I must swap an odd number of times here and even to even. So let's see if that's what we happen to have. Well, if I swap these two, Orange is going to come here, red is going to come here. So this is solved and this will be solved. So one swap, then I'll have to swap these two swaps. What about the bottom? Well, I've got two solved, so I don't know, just one swap. So we are going to have parity. But let me show you the algorithm that we're going to use in order to swap these sides. What this algorithm is going to do is it's going to swap these two uh, actually, if, if I hold it here, it's going to swap these two, the right and the back, and on the bottom, it's going to swap the left and the back. So let's say I wanted to fix the bottom here. I'm going to turn this like this, and that's going to swap these two sides and solve it. At the same time, what's going to happen is, let's swap the, uh, these two here. These two are going to be swapped, so this is going to be solved, and I'm going to end up with parity here. Now the algorithm to do that is pretty much running the same pattern as the previous algorithm. Prime the bottom. So we've got we prime the bottom. 2R <coughs> DI 2R take the prime out. Next prime the top. But this time we're going to ignore any motions on the top and just do the same as the second half of the bottom move. So here's what I mean. So you prime the top, 2R, and now we're going to do D, and then 2R, and take the prime out. And then the next part is we just do our corner up and down swapping, prime the bottom, 2R, take the prime out of the bottom, prime the top, 2R, and there you have it. So that's, that's the algorithm that swaps these guys and these guys, and that's all you need to know. But what about this situation? We have not solved it. We have parity here. Well, this is the point of time where we're going to leave the left side of the brain, which is analytical, looking at numbers and algorithms, and now we've got to use our right side of the brain, where we're going to use visual images and pictures and things like that. And we're not going to do an algorithm to get out of this. We're just going to look at pictures. A lot of parity pictures. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a 2R. And the purpose of this is we're getting out of our cube form. So no priming, just 2R. Now what you're going to notice is you're going to have the shield on top and the shield on the bottom. And we're going to go through steps as to how to deal with these pictures here. Most of what I'm going to be doing is going to be UI moves. And what I'm going to do, think of it as that we have to set our shields down. We're, we're trying to take the fight in a different way. So we're going to do a UI and turn our shield on its side like this. So we're just doing a UI move. And then we're going to do the reciprocal on the bottom. So it's going to be a DI as well, setting it on the side. So just think of it in terms of you're setting your shield on the side, right? And then do a 2R. We're going to get a familiar butterfly here and a butterfly here. This is how we find our way home, but we can't do that this time. Think of the butterfly now is with another UI move counterclockwise move, we're going to set the butterfly on its side, like this, just 30, um, just 30 degrees. Not the complete side, because we'll get the butterfly back. So we're just going to skew it down here 30 degrees, and then we're going to match this one exactly the same. So think of the two butterflies are flying together. They're taken off together, and then 2R. We're going to get this shape, where we have four corners, four edges, and the same thing here. Now before, when we were getting the cube, we turned from down here, from the back side. Now it's lined up at the front side. And just like with the previous shield, we're going to lay it down on its side, just to the side here, between the, cor between the corner and the edge, in a counterclockwise rotation, and do the reciprocal here, lays down on the edge. So keep thinking that you're laying on its side. Now if at any time, you'll know you screwed up if you don't get a symmetric pattern on both sides. So just start again. Or, or redo it. And then we do a 2R. Now here's something interesting. We have our flower back, but we have a new shape here. We got a lemon. The lemon stays. We don't do anything with the lemon. And now we do the key move that's going to get us out of parity. And we're just going to do our 
one more counterclockwise rotation, take it just by one pedal. So move it to the next pedal, basically. And then we do another 2R. We've got this shield back, and we've got this semi-shield back, and now we're going to have them face each other just like they did before. So we turn this back here, so it's facing front, turn this back here, so that it's facing front. So far, so good. And now we do a 2R. Here's our butterfly, here's our butterfly. Keeping in the spirit of counterclockwise, we can now turn this on its side, and turn this, just like we did to get the cube back, which is really what we're trying to do, turn this over here, do our 2R, Here's our shield here, this version of the shield and this version. Then we do the same thing to get the cube back. We're taking it off of its side, standing this up here, standing this up here, and we have this nice symmetric shape here, 2R, and we got our cube back. Now, the thing to notice with this is now we have a line of yellow and a line of white. Same thing here, a line of yellow and a line of white. So we're just gonna get this back the same way, but I'm gonna do it a very specific way. Keeping with counterclockwise, I'm going to move this. Well, I'm going to move this over here to prime it, and what I'm going to want to do is is move this to where I have a white one that's going to meet it, which is down here. So all I had to do, we were like this, is move it counterclockwise here so that it's primed. I actually went the other way to prime it, and all I have to do is double turn it. I have two of one color, two of one color over here. Same thing. Then I'm just gonna, I know that yellow is on the top, so I'm gonna move this here so that I can turn this into it. Turn this across here and turn it in. So now I have all of my edges, I'm sorry, all of my corners back, all of my corners back. Now if you did this right, you're gonna have two edges that are out of place and we're just gonna move them back. I might as well move them back the right way. Here's green and here's green here. Now notice, our corners are in place, our corners are fine. So I'm gonna do the algorithm to, to flip this to here and this to here, the same one. So we prime the bottom, 2R, take the prime out of the bottom, prime the top, 2R, and back. So we've got all these in place. Corners we don't even have to worry about. So it's kind of like a semi-scramble, so let's see what we got. Let's see if it actually worked. This is solved and this is solved. This will be flipped just by one, so that, that's gonna take one flip. Uh, here, we can flip these two. Orange will be here, green will be here, that's one flip. So green is here. Then we'll flip two flips, so blue will be here, and green will now be here, and three flips. So they're both odds. So our parity is now gone. No monstrous algorithms, it just worked out that way. So let's just kinda of go through the motions here, go through our algorithms, hold this here to flip these two, and let's go ahead and start doing our flipping. I'm going to hold this over here so I can solve for the green and put the red over here so that'll work. So prime the bottom, 2R, DI, 2R, take the prime out, prime the top, 2R, D, 2R, take the prime out, and then do our, you know, swapping um, middle switching algorithm here, prime the bottom, 2R, take the prime out of the bottom, prime the top, 2R, and we have that back, top is solved. We just have two more to do here. This part is solved as well. Turn it back here to solve the orange. We're gonna re-scramble this, but that's okay because we have to do the algorithm yet again. So real quick, prime the bottom, 2R, DI, 2R here. T, uh, prime the top, 2R, D, 2R, take it out here. Prime the bottom, 2R, prime prime to back. All right, so this is scrambled, and this is, uh, I shouldn't say scrambled, this is out of line, this is out of line, way out of line. <laughs> Put that back in, very quickly do the same thing. On the top, here, prime it, 2R, prime, prime, here and back, and you did it. We did not have to change our notations. We didn't really have to change our strategy. We didn't have to learn any new complicated algorithms. The algorithms that we did look at were pretty simple, and we had a very simple and very unique, and I think very fun way of getting out of a parity problem. So when coming across evolutionary variations, you just have to change your strategy a little bit, but I would rather, in the true spirit of problem solving, try to apply techniques that you know in unique situations.
Tell me what you think. Hope you enjoyed it.